This is iFiber One News. Here are today's top stories. A fire caused extensive damage at Beeline Frame and Axle Tuesday evening in Moses Lake. Tickets are available for the 8th Annual Country Sweethearts Benefit Auction February 4th, supporting the Columbia Basin Cancer Foundation. A mother and daughter were reunited this Christmas with the help of Facebook. From the iFiber One newsroom, this is iFiber One News, and it starts now. A fire caused extensive damage at Beeline Frame and Axle Tuesday evening in Moses Lake. Moses Lake firefighters responded just before 7 p.m. for a structure fire on East 5th Avenue to find the east side of the building on fire. According to Fire Chief Brett Bastian, several vehicles, including classic cars, some being restored by the business owners, and tow trucks were damaged. Firefighters were able to contain much of the fire damage to about a third of the building, but smoke damage was reported throughout. Bastian said the cause of the fire is under investigation and no employees were inside the building when the fire started. Moses Lake Police were responding to a burglary alarm minutes before the fire was reported. An officer reportedly found a back door open and noticed the flames. Grant County Fire District 5 provided mutual aid during the fire. This is Joe Utter for iFiber One News. Tickets are available for the 8th Annual Country Sweethearts Benefit Auction February 4th, supporting the Columbia Basin Cancer Foundation. The event starts at 5 p.m. at the Grant County Fairgrounds and includes dinner, dancing, a live and silent auction, and more. Tickets are $65 per person or $500 for a table of eight. Country Sweethearts is the Columbia Basin Cancer Foundation's largest fundraiser of the year and raises funds to support cancer patients in Grant County. According to organizers, last year's event raised about $90,000. Tickets can be purchased online at ColumbiaBasinCancerFoundation.org. Information on auction donations and sponsorship opportunities are also available on the Foundation's website. For more information, call 509-764-4644. This is Joe Utter for iFiber One News. There's now a Christmas stocking hanging with Natalie Bennett's name on it at her biological mother's house. 19 years ago, Lynette Jones made the difficult decision of giving her three-day-old daughter up for adoption. I always knew that she did it for a good reason, and I never had any doubts that she didn't want me or that anything like that. So I was always honestly grateful for being adopted. It was an open adoption with communication, but one day that stopped. I was searching and searching for her for 14 years, you know, everywhere on the internet, just looking up stupid stuff, just trying to find her <laughs> first and middle name, you know. She says she later found out the adoption agency had lost records, but she never stopped searching. But not a day went by they didn't think about her. I loved, you know, every birthday, I would celebrate her birthday. Didn't matter if she was here, she was in my heart. And just three weeks ago, it was Natalie's mom who found Lynette on Facebook. It's a Christmas miracle. You know, some people don't believe in it, and it's a Christmas miracle. A reunion, 19 years in the making, but for them, it's only the beginning. As we wrap up 2016, clear and cool. Hi, Jeff Slicky from the iFiber One Weather Center taking a look at the basin's forecast. For Tuesday, partly cloudy and 37. 36 and clear for Wednesday, the lows in the low 20s moving into Thursday, mostly cloudy and 33. Friday, 30 degrees with a low at 12. New Year's Eve, clear skies, 27, a slight chance of rain moving into the first of the year where we could see some snow showers as well. After that, clear and cold. For iFiber One, I'm Jeff Slakey. This is iFiber One News. For more information on these stories and other news, visit us online at iFiberOne.com or check us out on Facebook.